Last week, I heard that you were speaking uh, a lot about uh, wives uh, not wanting to have sex with their husbands. And yes. uh, I'm experiencing it the other way around. Uh, okay. I'm married for two years, but I actually kind of lost interest in my wife. We have one children, oh, sorry, one child. And okay. uh, yeah, it's, it's like, a, um, I'm not sure if this could be a cause for me to start looking at uh, some options. Why did you lose uh, interest in your wife? Um, I don't know. It, it just, it kind of happened uh, gradually. And there wasn't just one thing that did she uh, become was mean? a trigger. Did she put on a load of weight? Um, not a lot. Maybe she gained it uh, around, uh, I don't know, um, 10 pounds or something after Okay. Uh, giving birth to her daughter, yeah. Uh, but uh, now nah, she's she's uh, she's not mean at all. Do you watch uh, porn? She's very lovely. Um, occasionally, uh, I I couldn't say that I never do it, but uh, I I don't think that it's a problem for me. Well, I mean, porn's not not good in general. I mean, how many times a week do you watch porn? Hmm. Uh, one or two, I think. What for? Like, why not bang instead? Uh, perhaps that's that's the reason. I'm, I'm just not not very attracted uh, to my wife anymore. Yeah, like you know, porn's not real, right? Like, it's 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 acting. There's it's not real acting. It's acting. Yeah. It, it, yeah, I know. It it re it rewires your brain. There's lots of YouTube videos. There's even books and. I think there's Huberman podcast interviews where he's talked to specialists about how porn affects the male brain. It rewires your brain and your expectations, right? So it's not it's not good in general. Um, and also, I mean, you're rubbing one out to another dude banging another chick. Like you're basic. It's basically cuckoldry, you know. Like I know a guy that's a bull, and women meet him on dating apps, and the husband sits in the corner of the hotel room while he watches this guy bang the wife. Right. That's essentially what you're doing, but you're looking at it on a screen. So from that perspective, it's cuckoldry. Got so, it. so stop doing that for starters. Did you have enthusiasm for her before you got married? Yes, for sure. Like like strong enthusiasm, like like you craved her, yes. like you lusted for her? Yes. Okay. Did she stop doing a lot of the things that she used to do? um like, like what well you know like women will generally be more enthusiastic early on than later on and esther perel talks about this like women generally lose interest in men faster than men do in women like it's like a hockey stick it goes like this over time whereas men it's a little bit slower um and it's and if a woman starts to lose enthusiasm for you and she's not as um I mean, I'm trying to be careful here because you know we're using YouTube on this. Um, if she's not doing all the things that she did at the beginning today, putting on the sexy lingerie, uh, soaking wet, like all of that good stuff that you know would happen early on, like if that's on the decline, then that could be contributing to the lack of interest that you have in her too, right? Like I would lose interest in a chick too, like that. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, also, uh, I think it happens since we start living together and perhaps well, I a had her idealized. Well. Yeah, yeah. Perhaps I, I just had her uh, idealized in my mind and then I, I don't know, I, I just uh, discovered something that I didn't like about her. And yeah, because you yeah, get familiar, think, you get to know her, you get to know her little quirks and features about her life. She gets to know yours. The enthusiasm from one another starts to go on the decline. Like this is, this is par for the course with most people that get married, right? Um, did she ever initiate sex before, you know, like before you got married? Yes, and she does now as well. Um, and uh, okay, um, it, it doesn't happen very often, but uh, sometimes I also kind of reject her because um, I, I also, I'm working a lot lately. Mm -hmm. So sometimes well, I'm just tired. Yeah, I mean, but 
no guy is generally that tired to turn down a sexual advance from an attractive woman. The other thing that happens too, bud, is that when you get married, your testosterone levels drop, especially when you have a kid. It's it's they've they've seen this over and over and over and over again, right? And human studies and they suspect it's because you go from being a high T hunter warrior, you know, banging as many chicks as you possibly can to now you have a kid. So you want to protect and provide for that kid. So nature lowers your testosterone levels so that you're more interested in protecting, providing and nurturing that child, you know, your offspring, your DNA, your name, your lineage, you know, so it's successful. So you might want to go to a doctor and check your endocrine system, see if your testosterone levels, your free testosterone, your DHT, your, your estradiol, like all of these things are in healthy ranges. Got it. Yeah, that makes sense as well. Perhaps it could be many factors. It could be porn involved, uh, my T levels. I, How old I, are you? I still, I'm 31. It doesn't really start to go down until 25, 30. So unless you've had a significant change in lifestyle or maybe just like a bit of a anomaly and your T levels have dropped, you know, dr dramatically for some reason, um, that could be part of it. Do you wake up in the morning with morning wood? Um, yes. Okay. So maybe it's not your T levels, but it's worth checking out anyway. You might have deficiencies in other areas in your blood labs, right? something else to Got consider it. yeah but if but if everything's healthy and she's hitting on you and you're not interested and you're in interested elsewhere look dude your option is to stay faithful and suck it up and raise that kid and stay married to her or you can have a conversation with her and just say look i love you i'm, I'm i love the family i love you know our kid and i don't want to do anything to ruin that or damage it but i want to have some fun outside. I want to go and get some exercise elsewhere. I'm not going to do anything to embarrass you. I'm not going to bring home a disease. I'm not going to be falling in love with anybody, taking anybody on a vacation. I'm just going to go and get some exercise. You just need to know that this is going to happen. The last thing you want to do is lie to her and misrepresent something because that will have greater consequences than being forthright about it. Got it. Okay. Okay, that, that uh, answered my question, and I think you point me in the right direction. All right, but I would start by going to a doctor and getting getting your blood labs checked and you know see if there's anything weird going on there. And stop touching porn, too. Por porn's just a huge waste of time. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full-length podcast, you can find that over here, that clip's from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here. And pin down below in the top comment, you'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line, books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.